jump into a lower body strength workout. We'll be doing just 10 minutes together in AMRAP style, so this would be a great one on those really busy days or if you wanted to pair it with a HIIT, or I encourage you on those days where you really want to focus more on your strength and doing really longer resistance training workout to maybe extend this up to 10, or I'm sorry, 20 minutes and double it or even 15 minutes, just extend it a little bit. And I want to talk about that a little bit in terms of progression. We want to add progression and that means that in order to see continued improvement, either in our endurance, our strength, our physique, weight loss, we need to keep having our body adapt and giving it new challenges to achieve. And so if we keep using the same weights and do the same number of reps and do the same amount of workout over and over and over for the rest of, we won't see any change. So if we're someone who's just getting started and doing five minute workouts consistently, we gotta increase the time probably. Or if we've been doing 10 to 20 minute workouts consistently with maybe 10 pound dumbbells and we now are really challenge ourselves with heavier, then maybe we need to go up on the weight a bit, maybe go to 15 pounds. Or just as examples. Or if we usually do eight repetitions in our workouts for our AMRAPs, for example, maybe we can go up to 10 this time using the same weight but maybe go up in the number of repetitions. So those are just some ways that we can add in some progressions that we continue to see results without having to get really crazy with the equipment that we have and having to buy a lot of new stuff. Um, so you usually wanna either go up in the weight, change the number of repetitions, or increase the like speed at which you do things, maybe decrease the amount of rest that you're doing. So we're gonna jump into it, and I'm gonna encourage you to pick the number of repetitions that matches your level right now or maybe that little step above. So we're gonna do eight to 12 repetitions for most of the work movements, or 10 to 20 for the squat jumps. So you pick what you're gonna do. I'm gonna kinda of stick in the middle <laughs> for, for the repetitions to give you the example to um, follow through. You're gonna need a more moderate, kind of medium set of, of weights, and then a heavier set of dumbbells or one heavy kettlebell. Um, so we're gonna go right into it, and while we're working today, your mantra is Think of how good you will feel <laughs> because, right, the hardest part is getting started. And I know I'm talking a lot right now, so I want to just jump into it because I don't want you to kind of turn me off and like go do something else. So we're going to jump into it in a second, but just always thinking about, you know, like how good it will feel after because it's sometimes we need that little trick for ourselves when we're not feeling it. So just remembering that um, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now. You might hear my voice is a little different. So I'm just thinking about how good I'm going to feel after I get moving. <laughs> So let's jump into it. Either grab your one heavy dumbbell or your one heavy kettlebell. I'm going to show you both, but this first round, oh, got to get my timer going. I'm going for 10 minutes. We're going to bring that kettlebell up, so cleaning it up to the chest, and we're going to have the feet a little wider, toes turn out slightly so the elbows can come down in the middle. We're going to come all the way down and then halfway up and then down. So we're doing one and a half reps for eight to 12, I'm sorry, they're called one and a half reps, and we're doing them for eight to 12 repetitions. So this is number three for me. So you're gonna go all the way down, halfway up, back down, and then up is one, so that's four. Halfway, and then all the way back up. I'm gonna be doing 10, again, to show you kind of the in between. And you go eight or up to 12 if you feel like you need a little bit more of that challenge to see your progression. seven. As my hips open up, you might see me getting a little bit lower. So you're going to try and get at least a parallel on the deepest part of the movement. Last one here. Awesome. So I'm going to stick with this heavy dumbbell for single leg deadlifts. Or you can grab a heavy, um, sorry, kettlebell. <laughs> you're going to grab a heavy dumbbell if you want to. Whew, my brain. So I'm going to plant my left foot, keep the weight in my right hand, I'm going to hinge from the hips and reach the weight down and across and then squeeze up. Reach down and across and squeeze up. That's three. Again, going to eight to 12. Picking your level, picking your weight, and then really pay attention. Even keeping a, a, a journal of your workouts so that you can pay attention to what you've been using, maybe for your, for your weights, for your reps. And then challenge yourself each week as you progress 
to get maybe have it be a little bit more challenging, go up in the weight or go up in the repetitions that you're doing in the time that we're doing each exercise. Square off towards the floor. Remember, I'm going to 10, so this is six for me. Yeah, four more. Pick a point to focus on. <laughs> so there's a lot of balance here. A few more here. So we're using the glutes and the hamstrings a lot, as well as the outside of the hip and the core here. Cool. Got those done. I'm going to Bring this up to the chest again for lateral lunges. So we're going to go 8 to 12 each side. If you have a dumbbell, you can pick up the other one and have them both in your hands. Again, I'll show you that next time. We're going to stay on one side for the reps. So I'm going to go to 10 on the right, on my right, and then I'm going to switch sides. So jump into it as soon as you can. And go as deep as you can into that side lunge, bending from the hips and the knees, knees shooting out over the toes. One more on this side, and we're going to switch sides. Awesome. Going to the left for me. Just make sure you switch your sides up. Seven for me. Again, I'm moving a little bit more slowly today. <sighs> With this cold, my stamina is a little bit lower. All right, I think I counted that right. I think I got to 10. I'm gonna put the weights down. We're gonna grab our medium wet weights, more moderate size weights. Have those in both hands. And again, the default can be to drop the weights completely, but try, challenge yourself. We're going to do squat jumps. For this one, we're going to go 10 to 20. So you pick your range within that, and I'm going to show you 15. So we're going to bring the weights with us as we squat down, and then bring them up. One, two, three. Still sit the hips back. Awesome. Bringing those weights down. Again, the default for that is just to do regular squat jumps without the weights. Just sit down and then jump high. All right, grab a sip of water. That was one round. We're going to repeat that from the beginning. Whew. All right. This time I'm going to show you with the dumbbells. So my heavy set. Actually, for the goblet squat, excuse me, you just want one heavy dumbbell. And you can have that in the center. Usually with this type of dumbbell, it's easiest like this. Just right at the collarbone with both hands. With have, like wider rimmed ones, you can hold them like this sometimes. But just be careful. <laughs> Make sure you have a good grip on them. And then go down one and a half reps each time. Four for me. Remember, go to eight to 12 reps for you. Picking your level. Make sure you keep challenging yourself though so that you see continued progress. You gotta have some progression to see progress. One more here for me. Awesome. All right, single leg deadlifts. You can also hold a weight in both hands if you really want to challenge yourself or you don't have super heavy weights. I'm just going to stick with one <laughs> for this one right now. So keep the hips squared off, reach the hand down and across, 
My right hand's reaching towards my left foot. Squeeze up with the core. Drill the foot down into the floor as you stand up. Good. Nice strong core here. Think of yourself as a lever. Woo! <laughs> Make sure you keep the shoulder pulled back, down the back, so the weight doesn't pull it out of its socket. <laughs> I think I got one more on this side. Woo, nice big squeeze up. You really feel it in the top of the hamstring and the bottom of the glute. Okay, other side. So switch feet. For me, that's the right foot plan, and left foot reaches back. Squeeze up. Left hand reaches over to the right. My right hand is actually, but it's free, can kind of help me balance here. Notice if your gaze is, you're trying to stay looking forward. Try and pick a point of focus about a foot or two in front of your planted foot so that you're not straining the neck. Think really slow and controlled on the way down and then a bit more dynamic on the way up, big pull. One more for me. Remember, eight to 12, each side. Awesome. Okay, lateral lunges. I'm gonna grab my other weight. We're gonna do, I'm gonna be doing 10 each leg. So lunge, back together. Big lunge to the side. Pay attention to the way the toes are pointing and have the knee go in that same direction. And then from there, hips, sit the hips back. Torso nice and long, extend it over the bent leg. The last one. Awesome, switch sides. Sorry, <laughs> my nose is, nose is runny. Winter here in Chicago means all kinds of germs coming home from school. <laughs> Try to remember, think of how good we are gonna feel when we finish this. Oh my goodness, 10 minutes are already done. We didn't even get to those jump squats again. So definitely extend the time on this one if you can. Once you feel it, once you got it going, you know the rhythm of it, you can go a little bit more quickly than I did. I was talking a lot to demonstrate it to you. But if you can go a little bit more fast the next time with good control, now that you know what you're doing, all means that's how you progress. You have to keep challenging yourself. So for me today, this is maybe a good pace for you to learn it, and then the next time you can smoke me. <laughs> you can beat my, my sick, slow booty in the next round when you do it on your own. So hopefully this was helpful for you and it really works on strengthening that lower body. All right, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.